So this is a Ryobi tool. It's a 18 volt grease gun. This is a Makita 18 volt battery. And these don't seem to work well together. But that's okay because over on Thingiverse.com, a guy named Simhop designed this Ryobi to Makita battery adapter. So what you can do is put your Makita battery on it and then put this whole thing into a Ryobi tool. And, and then with that, the tool and the battery work well together. The cool thing about this battery adapter is that it's modeled very well. So it slides onto the Makita battery nice and smooth and it locks in. And on the Ryobi tools, it snaps in perfectly as well. And it even has these side clips. It even has a voltometer on the back here so you can monitor the battery levels. I like having these adapters because I have a few Ryobi tools and a lot of Makita batteries and zero Ryobi batteries. I keep an adapter on every one of my Ryobi tools. So as long as I'm carrying Makita batteries with me, I can power all of my tools. So these adapters here are the ones originally designed by SimHop. And over the years, I realized that I don't really need the voltometer because all of my Makita batteries now have a battery gauge. So I needed to make some more and I made the changes that I wanted over there. So the first thing you'll notice is that I have an extra screw here and I got rid of the voltometer on the back. I changed the design of the contacts. It only requires one bend. The original required two, so now it's easier to make. And then I tightened the tolerances so it gets rid of all the slop in the original design. So these clips, for example, there's a lot of play in the movement. So now it's much more tighter. So now let me show you how I make these. First things first, print the parts. The first thing we're going to want to work on is to replicate the metal contacts on the Makita half of our adapter. In the past, I've taken copper pipe and I cut it and flattened it out to make my terminals. I've even went ahead and bought brass sheets and I, I would cut them and form it into this shape here. But recently I've been using these. These are already at the correct width and the thickness. So all I have to do is cut it and bend it. So these are much easier to use. And where I get these from are from your heating vents. So just get one of these and cut the little fins out and you will get a bunch of these. You'll have to sand down the paint, but other than that, it's the easiest way I found making these terminals. And then to bend this, I have a homemade metal brake here. That looks good, so I'm going to go ahead and bend it. As you can see, it fits good. We just have to trim it to length now. And I went ahead and made the contact terminals for the Ryobi part of the adapter off camera. And these are looking good. So now it's time to solder. So I have here um, about four inches of 
16 gauge primary wire. This is stranded. I've used um, solid wire before, but it's much easier using stranded wire. All right, and at this point, this is why, what you want to end up with. So now these are ready to be installed. So now we could go ahead and solder the, the Ryobi side. Alright, so both sides are soldered on and the wires may look long at this point and it actually is, but I did that on purpose because what I like to do is kind of, I like to loop it around and then it gives me the ability to go up and down this loop acts as a spring, otherwise you need to solder the, the wire on perfectly um, and that's really difficult to do. So I find this method to work really well for me. Okay, so it looks like that. Now we're ready to put this on, but first we need to add in our clips. And first you wanna put your spring in. And then the clips make sure they operate correctly make sure the contacts are where you want them to be and slide this through so it's time to put in the nuts Okay, so they're all um, screwed in. You just want to make sure that the head of the bolts are recessed below the surface of this part right here. So now it's time to cover this up. You could add glue here, but I find that this friction fit is good enough. Up here, we want to add a screw. All right, so now we're done. So the clips work really smoothly. They're going in all the way. They're not binding to anything. The contacts look great. So I got this inflator. Clips on perfect without any um, wiggle to it. It fits in really smooth. Okay, we'll add this Makita battery in. This has a satisfying click in it too. And a moment of truth. Let's turn this on. All right, here we go. That works fine. 
and that works fine. So there we go. I hope this video helped out. Thank you guys for watching.